clickety clack down the track. Here we go. Alright, the arduous process of unpacking the kite. Where's my other bag? I need something to hold it down. This part is always the most stressful because if it's not done right, it will take forever to do. So first thing, you gotta unbuckle it, roll it out. Alright, there's that. I wanna make sure we keep everything here organized and not gonna fall apart here. Stick this right here for now. Okay. Unwind. We got to this point. Now I gotta get this part situated here. So we gotta unhook this. Unhook that. Take these down on the side here. And now we just gotta walk this. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be on cameras for this, so we're gonna kinda try to adjust this here so we can see it. The problem with solo filmmaking here. Huh. That's good. <clears throat> now the process of on getting this out here. This process takes a little while. And it's also very tedious because if you don't do it right, then the lines are gonna get tangled. So I'm just trying to take it this elastic cord thing. That should be okay for now. This kite is not like normal kites. A normal kite you start with zero line and then you let it go up. Eventually letting more and more line out until you get to your maximum length. This type of kite, it's more you, you let all the line out and then it takes off that way. You could take off earlier, but there's no grips on that. There's no grips anywhere out throughout the rope. Oh, I almost stepped a dog doo doo. I'm gonna move over to the left here to kind of support that. Don't want my rope sitting in that. So far, the lines look like they're pretty separated, but we do have a couple twists in it we're gonna have to fix. <clears throat> Part of the free flight stuff. You have to make sure that the lines are fully untangled before you take off. Otherwise your kite's going to spike into the ground. And that's not cool. Almost there. Alright, we have reached the end. I have to get this off of the plastic bracket here. Trying my best to keep these separate. Red is going to be left right now. Blue is going to be right right now. Although I think that's backwards and we're going to fix that later. <clears throat> but right now we got these twists in there. We got to get these twists out of here. So once you get it on the ground, grab the lines here again and then kind of walk with the twists back until you get to the handles and have them separate. Kind of makes me think I should have brought my chest grip for the phone. That might have been a cool thing to have. Oops. Alright, so we got a kind of a knot snag here. Uh, not that. 
overall this is pretty good another potential snag here we're gonna pull this one and there we go it's free Ooh, that's a big stream of air I'm not gonna die doing this because this kite pulls really really hard might be a little difficult to edit as well. Who knows? I don't think anyone's done a video like this of a kite. You know, my ears might be blown out right now. Too much air running across it because it is windy. Okay, we're gonna move this over here as I now have to unfurl the deck. Here. Stick that in the side, put this over here. Complex part here, something's tangled. Right. Double check all the lines here. It's already wanting to take off. Alright, so the next part, you're gonna grab the edges here, you're gonna ring it in kind of round like this and squish it down. This is part of the automatic takeoff stuff. <sighs> All right, you need something with some weight to keep it from taking off before we get to that thing. Oop, 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 oop. Come on. Not yet, I'm not holding it yet. All right, this bag is all zipped up there. Put that down. I've got my camera bag inside of here, so we're not gonna roll it up. It needs to just roll off. Okay. Make sure we're recording still. We're gonna check what we look like over here quick. So far, so good. That camera's not really gonna give me too much here. <clears throat> so we can see from the flag over there that the wind is moving in a kind of off axis direction. We're gonna put this right here. Uh, it kind of needs to point more towards the sky, but not at the sun. So we're gonna move over here. Okay. I hope this is gonna work. We have eight minutes in right now. <clears throat> How long of a flight we gonna take? I don't know. But we are ready for takeoff. And let me grab my reins here. All right, let's double check everything's good. Analyze my area, make sure there's no one else around that's gonna get hit by this or strung out by my strings. And now it's time to wake it up. Almost awake. Oh, it fell over. Alright, there we go. We got one edge out. Yep, still sleeping. It flipped over because the camera bag rolled over on it. And now it's upside down. Let's see if I can't get it back over without having to walk all the way back over there. Come on. Come on. Hit. Okay, we've gotten some air into it. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We're not where we want to be right now, though. 
All right, we've untangled, but it might be tangled. We'll see. And it's tangled. Hit. Come on. You almost had it. You almost had it. You almost had it. You almost had it. Nope. Except tells me it got tangled again. It should just take right off right now. It's not unfurling. It's like a cable got caught. Oop, there it kind of went. Something's tangled on it, I think. I'm gonna still see if I can get it off the ground and it will hopefully unbreak itself. I don't know if it's going to though. Here. I'm on the concrete now. I don't want to be this far out. Come on, okay. Open. I'm kind of just dragging it across the ground now. Alright, this isn't working. Let me go walk over to it. This is kind of annoying part. You have to either be quick or kind of walk on the rope so that if it does accidentally take off, it doesn't fly off without you. Uh, let's see. What is wrong with you? Step in the middle here. We're going to back it up. Double check all the cords here. Yeah, everything is free. Nothing's caught that I see. Alright, let's try this again. Be calm with me. Second attempt. Oops, 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 it's caught on me. It is caught on me. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Make sure I don't walk in that poop. I don't know why people have dogs and not pick up their poop. It's annoying. All this should take is just me to pull it up. Just to pull back on the reins and the kite goes in the air. Hopefully. If all goes well, I'm on untangle. Red for right, blue for left. Double check area. Looks safe to take off. We got steady wind. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is it stuck on now? It was just fine. I just checked it. Now it looks like it's caught again on something on the left. Come on. Pull up. Now there's not enough wind. I think that's what the case is. Gotta wait for a gust. Here comes some wind. Alright, let's try it. There we go. We're in the air. We're in the air. Whoa! Something's weak with it. Alright, we've unfurled the problems. We are catching air. We are on a very weak airstream here. And I'm looking directly into the sun, which is not optimal, but it's flying. Okay, see so As long as you keep your arms far apart, it's easy to control and it doesn't pull. The issue is when you start to do kind of tricks. 
like a low buzz of the ground where you go Rah! it's like fighting it oh I almost hit the camera all right things are still good people's no around kind of resting right now weak airflow if the problem is when a strong gust hits it just takes off <laughs> and if you're not paying attention it could be like free and strong enough air currents you can take off like you will literally lift off of the ground it can be kind of cool if you're expecting it not cool if you're not I can't see in the sun at least with sunglasses it makes it a little bit easier to look in the sun I'm trying to avoid dog poop while also paying attention I want to fly out here but there's not enough wind out there the wind is flowing directly into the sun and that's not cool Oh dang. Not sure if uh, any of these cameras are seeing this. Hopefully they are. Recording in 4K, so... Worst comes to worst, I can just digital zoom it in. Kind of a different video than I was wanting to do today. It's a little cold outside, especially in the wind. Oh dang, oh dang. Ooh. You gotta like brace with whichever arm is out front. Whoa. I don't know if this is making any cool noise or not, but hopefully the visuals are alright. This would be best if I had somebody else to kind of help me fly. Or at least video me. But I don't. The winds are not strong enough for me to get off the ground today, but <clears throat> I do have the bigger kite in the car, but that's definitely a two-person operation to get that beast going. This is a 1.9 meter kite, and that means that the surface area of the kite is 1.9 meters. It's a good medium-sized trainer kite. It's not one that you would want to use for kiteboarding or kite skiing or kite surfing. It's just more for enjoyment. I crashed this kite a lot of times. One of them was super critical where it actually flew across the street because the string snapped when I was trying to pull on it. That was not fun. <clears throat> I had to get some new leads here for it. The best part is with getting the new leads is it upgraded the, the, the grips. The grips no longer dig into you as much anymore. Woo! It's stuff like that. If you're not expecting it, it can kind of take you on your face. Now I'm drawing attention. There are people sitting around watching. As I am the only kite in the sky that I see, there's a bird. I thought that was a kite for a second. Alright, we're going to try to see if we can get low to the ground now that we got some air. Yeah. Didn't get quite low. I'm just worried about the camera. I need to back up a little bit in order for me to do that. Kind of tricks. Oh, wasn't paying attention. 
unintentionally did a close buzz to the ground. It's pretty maneuverable when it's in the sky. Oh. And it's fairly easy to control. The idea behind it is kind of lever based. So if you want to pull turn from my point of view, the kite to the right, which makes it turn left if you're looking at it. You pull on the red one down and you leave the blue one up. And as you make each one of the leads, not even, it allows you to kind of figure eight the kite back and forth. You can even make it do loops and stuff, although that's not recommended because then once your lines are crossed, you it becomes substantially a lot more difficult to maneuver and it also damages your lines as they rub against each other <sighs> trying to get lower I want to make sure I'm out of range of nailing the camera on that side, I gotta get back a little bit more. So hold them out wide. When you're like this, you pretty much don't need to watch the kite too much. Because as long as you're holding them out wide, it's not going to turn left to right. All right, now we're heating up. Ugh, low buzz. Ugh. Still feels like it's gonna hit. It's hard to judge distance looking at it and also looking into the sun. All right, there's more poops over there. Dang, people need to clean up their poop. Woo, that's a good pass. Ugh. The kite wants to fly. It also wants to crash. So you're constantly fighting it to keep it in a state where it can be flying and not crashing, but just barely. Uh, all right, now that I've kind of done with some startup here, we're warming up, unzipping that. Yeah! Oh, we crashed. Recovery is simple. You just make sure your area is good. Since it flipped over, I'm going to be pulling the one on the right. See if I can get it to flip. All right, it rolled over not in the direction I wanted it to. But hopefully it can recover now. As long as I can get it to catch air. Problem is it's rolling over on itself. If we had more wind, the wind would roll it back over and it would correct itself very easily. problem is we're flying in light wind. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Come on. Catch the air. There you go. Alright, so we got some spins in there. I'm going to have to undo that. I don't know if that's making it worse. What direction did it spin? That feels like it's probably making it worse. So we're going to try to spin in the opposite direction and gauge whether that makes it worse or better. I don't know how many more spins it. There we go, we're free. There's a tennis ball with no skin on it. Alright, ground is still clear. There is now a second kite in the air over there. To my left. The phone camera might be able to see it, but somebody actually does have a kite in the sky. <sighs> Man, just fighting this kite basically. It's making me a little hot in this jacket. It was cold before. Ain't cold no more. It's a workout, that's for sure. Yeah! Ooh, crap. Alright, so calm down. Hold them wide. 
when you do this you can kind of pause and take a look around as long as it doesn't go too far over top of you where it then collapses because of the wind you should be fine but you can, allows you to kind of reset and reorient where you're going to be and then you can drive on yeah Almost hit the camera. Trying to back up some more. Alright, kind of going low. Low pass. Ah! Too low. We're good. There we go, we're in good position. Need the air to fill those, air to fill the foil. Need more wind for that. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's not too bad. We got a good, consistent blow. It's not too strong, not too weak. A big kite? Oh man, that'd be nice. No, I haven't tried that myself. I just mostly stuck to these little sport toy kites. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I've seen videos online, people like flying in the air on their surfboards and stuff with this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Be good to try. I'm not sure if you have a lot of space here though. Yeah. A small kite to me is, is a nine meter. It's about That's a one point nine meter right yeah. there. <laughs> a little tiny. I got a five in the in the car, but I got a land board that's gonna play with it. Put the five up. Do you have a way to strap into it? No, it's got uh it's got like one singular bar. It's got like a strap so you, it does have brakes and stuff if yeah. you like break them apart, but I haven't set does that up have, yet. Um, it doesn't have a deep tower, right? Have you seen how kite bars look? Uh, yeah, it's got three lines, so left line, right line, and a, a brake line in the middle. So what makes kiting amazing is that most of the pressure, once you get a big kite, is on your waist, mm -hmm. and your hands don't feel the pressure. No, it doesn't have a belt on it that one. It doesn't have like a little strap thing. Nah. Yeah, it's nice seeing other enthusiasts. Hit. <clears throat> Well, we got some good flights out of it. Okay, let's see. It is rolled over in this direction. Flying it like this. This is the lowest that you can fly it. And 
the green string to kind of tangle around the thing. We didn't even show a proper landing. Alright, I want it to kind of go down. So usually when you want to land it, you take it out into the outer edges of the wind so that it, it lays down nice and softly. It, it, there. And then you grab it. <clears throat> oh, oh. All right, so this is the hard part where you try to reset, re-break. I got to get back over to the bag so I can. The pack down part can be difficult. I'll try to get to the edge. Edge to edge here. Right. You're upside down now, that's good. So, in reverse of the wind. Ah! That way it's not as likely to catch the wind here. Put this green thing and put it off to the side so it doesn't get caught into the string. Once you have that, pull them up. Get as much of the air out of there as possible. Fold it over once this direction. Same deal. Once you get it down to this point, make sure that all your cables here are separated. So I'm going to put this on here. Move this off to the side. I need the plastic part here for this. catching a Pokemon. This is filled with grass. Oh wait, I forgot one step. The last step. Before it goes into the bag. Green strap goes around it, holds it up. If you take it out, it doesn't automatically explode and spiral out of control. Slides into the side pocket. The downside of having the new leads, as this bag was designed for the old leads, so the new leads don't fit very well in there.
experience. Yeah. All right, let's go bring our cameras back together here. Let's see what we get. It's still recording. It didn't break, did it? Two minutes. Holy crap, that's a lot of time. A lot more than I was hoping to. <clears throat> well, the only way I can really see is if everything came out. And it's at the end here when I take it home. Sony's almost out of battery juice. Let's get this stopped. Phone first. Sony next. And lastly, the noise for all of you. <laughs> 